Hello, my friends, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today I'm going to be trying a split cup for the first time. For some reason, I've been resistant to trying one, but today I watched a video by a young lady named Shaylin McKay. Her channel is SKM Art Creations. I'm going to put a link down below and a link to the video I saw today, which just sent me over the edge. I had to go to Michael's and pick up one of these and give it a try. Um, so my colors are black, red, and a gold that I mixed. I wanted all opaque colors and so I chose the black. I'm pretty sure this is re this red is opaque, although it doesn't say on here, but I'm kind of counting on it to be. And the gold was a combination of golden hour, which is semi-transparent, and Naples yellow, which is opaque. So put those together and then you have an opaque color. So the only one I'm unsure of is the red. Now, my question about filling the cup, do I want to fill one color in each thing or layer? And I think I'm going to layer. Shane Lynn did one color in each uh, section, and it was marvelous. But you know me, I got to be a little different, so I'm going to I'm going to go black, gold, red, gold, red, black. Um, why are, what am I doing? I'm going to make them all three different. <laughs> Let's see. If I go black, gold, and red, the next one will be gold, red, and black, and the third one will be red, black, and gold. Okay, that's the plan. So... And this center section appears to be bigger than those two. So, so what? Okay, black, gold. So now I'll start gold in this one. And now red. Red. I'm almost running out of color here. And start this one in red. And that could be it for the red. Okay. Um, now black here. And <laughs> I forgot what I'm doing. Red, black, and gold. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I mixed enough paint. Yeah, that middle section is, um, there's more volume in there. So I'm going to have to top that off with the gold. And then one of them, that one's a little lower than those, but I'm out of paint. So, maybe I can scrape some more red. Okay, well, that's going to have to do. Really 
want them to be the same level though. So let me scrape out even more. As close to the same level as possible so they don't start pouring out at the same time, but these two are pretty close. That one is a little skimpy, but what can you do? All right. Now, now I have my uh, turntable handy. Just to help with the pouring, I won't have to move my wrist too much. And here we go. A big yellow dot. Okay, here comes something. So, uh, Shaylin doesn't have very many subscribers. She's just starting, so I do hope you will go check out her channel. Subscribe. She does a very nice job on her videos. Let's see, I gotta mix this up a little bit, gonna move it around. My color choices were a little odd. Hmm. I'm using the polyacrylic mix. I did uh, ratios of two and a half parts pouring medium to one part paint. So I, I like the polyacrylic mix for ring pours and ribbon pours. If I thought of it, I might have run some ribbons on top of this, but I should see what this looks like. I guess on its own. It's looking nice in the center here. This is kind of muddied up, but some of that will tilt off. I don't mind that. That's kind of nice. But the center is looking the best. Okay, it's starting to kind of drip out strangely, so I'm going to stop and set this aside. I'm going to, I'm going to quickly um, put some water in that cup so it'll clean out a little easier later. OK, 
Okay. This part reminds me of variegated yarn. This is kind of fun. Okay, now the composition. Um, of course, I'm liking I'm liking the flame looking sections very much. Mm, I think this is gonna have to go. Or change anyway, let's see. <laughs> oh, wow, look at it. I almost have a dog, an Afghan hound. <laughs> Not fun. I might leave it like that and. Well, that was fun. I just need to touch up the um, corners here, and then when it's dry, I will paint the outer edges, probably black. I like it. Bring in, look a bit closer. That's fun right there. And again, this was um, gold. It looks very yellow there, but when it dries, it should have some shimmer to it. Interesting shadowing thing going on there. <laughs> it looks like a Dr. Seuss dog. Well, there you go. My first attempt with the split cup. And uh, I it won't be the last. I enjoyed that. Thank you, Shay Lynn, for your inspiration. And I look forward to trying it again. Bye now.